Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we will learn about common mode rejection ratio of operational amplifier. In this video, I am going to explain what is common mode and what is differential mode, noise in single ended amplifier and differential amplifier, differential mode voltage gain and common mode voltage gain, practical illustrations of operational amplifier, how to calculate common mode rejection ratio, importance of common mode rejection ratio, examples and solutions on common mode rejection ratio, input frequency versus common mode rejection ratio, common mode and differential mode signals. As we know, the input stage of operational amplifier is a differential amplifier stage. Operational amplifier amplifies the difference between its two input signals, namely non-inverting terminal and inverting terminal respectively. When the two inputs of differential amplifiers are exactly in phase or exactly equal in amplitude means V1 is equal to V2, then they are called common mode signals. The common mode signals are rejected or not amplified by the op-amp because output signal of equal amplitude but opposite phase cancels each other by producing zero volts on the output. This action is called common mode rejection. When the input signals to a differential amplifier are 180 degrees out of phase and exactly equal in amplitude means V1 is equal to minus V2, they are called differential mode signals. The differential mode signals are amplified by the operational amplifier. It is because the difference in the signals is twice the value of each signal. Thus, we arrive at a very important conclusion that a differential amplifier will amplify the differential mode signals while it will reject the common mode signals. In a single ended amplifier, if any unwanted noise in the input will be amplified along with the input signal and will generate a huge noise or distortion in output. While in a differential amplifier, the noise is common for both inputs. The noise becomes common mode signal and the differential amplifier rejects or not amplifies the common mode noise signal and only amplifies the differential input signal, so we get undistorted and amplified output signal. If two input signals V1 5 mV, V2 4 mV applied between operational amplifiers non-inverting and inverting terminals respectively, then the difference between these two input signals V in becomes 1 mV. ADM represent the differential voltage gain. The output of this operational amplifier in differential mode configuration becomes V out is equal to ADM or differential voltage gain multiplied by V1 minus V2 or V in. Suppose differential voltage gain ADM is equal to 10,000, then V out is equal to 10,000 into 1 millivolt differential input signal that gives 10 volt at its output. If two inputs of operational amplifier are tied together and applied a common voltage, then this configuration is called common mode configuration. The output of operational amplifier should be equal to zero in idle condition. But practically, some small voltage, millivolt or microvolt available at output. This voltage is called common mode output voltage. ACM represents the common mode voltage gain of operational amplifier. ACM should be equal to 0 in ideal condition, but ACM is lesser than 1 in practical conditions of an operational amplifier. So from this illustration, we arrive at a conclusion that operational amplifier has two voltage gain. Differential mode voltage gain represented by ADM, common mode voltage gain represented by ACM. In ideal condition, ADM is very high and ACM is equal to 0. But in practical condition, ADM is equal to very high, but ACM is lesser than 1. Let us see, operation amplifier as differential amplifier rejects noise and static voltages. If inverting terminal or V2 is grounded and signal is applied at V1 or non-inverting terminal, however, a low frequency noise voltage is also appears into the inputs, this 50 Hz or 60 Hz noise is produced due to building and collapsing magnetic fields generated by adjacent current carrying conductors. 
the resultant waveform at V1 appears like this. If this waveform is amplified by the operational amplifier, the 50 Hz noise in the output will be stronger than desired output signal. However, operational amplifier also has second input V2. Therefore, second input has same 50 Hz or 60 Hz noise. The noise components of two inputs form a common mode signal which is largely rejected by the operational amplifier or differential amplifier. So the differential input signal is V1 minus V2. The noise in both inputs is subtracted with each other. And resultant input signal without any noise is amplified by the operational amplifier and the amplified output is also free from noise. A differential amplifier should have high differential voltage gain ADM and very low common mode voltage gain ACM. The ratio of differential mode voltage gain by common mode voltage gain is called common mode rejection ratio. So CMRR is equal to differential mode voltage gain ADM divided by common mode voltage gain ACM. Very often CMRR is expressed in dB. The decibel measure of common mode rejection ratio is 20 log 10 ADM divided by ACM. Differential mode voltage gain by common mode voltage gain is called CMRR. So CMRR in dB is equal to 20 log 10 into CMRR. So common mode rejection ratio in dB is equal to 20 log 10 into common mode rejection ratio. The following table shows conversion value of common mode rejection ratio in dB. We can found common mode rejection ratio value in dB in operational amplifiers data sheets. The common mode rejection ratio value of general purpose operational amplifier LM741 is shown here. Let us discuss importance of common mode rejection ratio. Ideally, the output of operational amplifier V out is equal to differential gain multiplied by V1 minus V2 or V in. But in practical, V out is equal to Differential mode voltage gain into V in plus common mode voltage gain into V in. And common mode rejection ratio is equal to differential mode voltage gain by common mode voltage gain. Common mode rejection ratio is the ability of a differential amplifier to reject common mode signals or noise. The larger the common mode rejection ratio, the better at eliminating at common mode signals or noise. Let us observe this with an example. Suppose the differential amplifier in this figure have differential gain of 1500 and common mode gain 0.01. Then CMRR is equal to ADM by ACM, 1500 divided by 0.01. That comes 150,000. This means that the output produced by differential signals between the inputs would be 150,000 times greater than output produced by common mode input signals. The ability of differential amplifier to reject common mode signals is one of its main advantages. Common mode signals are usually undesired signals caused by external interference. The CMRR indicates the op-amp's ability to reject such unwanted signals. Now we will solve some examples on common mode rejection ratio. A differential amplifier has an output of 1 volt with a differential input of 10 mV and an output of 5 mV with a common mode input of 10 mV. Find out common mode rejection ratio in decibels. Solution Differential input is equal to 10 mV. Differential output is equal to 1 volt. So differential gain ADM is equal to output by input 1 volt divided by 10 mV that comes 100. Now common mode input is equal to 10 mV. Common mode output is equal to 5 mV. So common mode gain ACM is equal to output by input that is equal to 5 mV by 10 mV that comes 0.5. We know that common mode rejection ratio is equal to differential gain ADM by common mode gain ACM. Common mode rejection ratio in dB is equal to 20 log 10 into ADM divided by ACM. That is equal to 20 log 10 differential mode voltage gain is 100 common mode voltage gain is 0.5. That comes common mode rejection ratio in dB is equal to 46 dB. Now second example. The differential amplifier shown in figure has voltage gain of 150, common mode rejection ratio of 90 dB. 
the input signals at V1 is equal to 50 millivolt, V2 is equal to 100 millivolt respectively. And common mode noise on each input is 1 millivolt. Find out the output signal, the noise on output. Solution. As we know, output signal of differential amplifier P out is equal to differential gain ADM into V1 minus V2. Here differential gain is 150, 100 millivolt V1 minus 50 millivolts V2. We get 7.5 volt at operational amplifier's output. To calculate noise on output, we use CMRR formula. Common mode rejection ratio in dB is equal to 20 log 10 multiplied by differential mode voltage gain ADM by common mode voltage gain ACM. So here common mode rejection ratio is 90 dB. That is equal to 20 log 10 differential mode voltage gain 150 divided by common mode voltage gain. The value of 90 dB is approximately 31623. That is equal to 150 divided by common mode voltage gain ACM. Here we don't know the common mode voltage gain ACM. So ACM is equal to 150 divided by 31623. That comes 0 0.0047 or 4.7 millivolt. So noise on output is equal to common mode gain ACM into common mode input or noise voltage of 1 millivolt. That is equal to 4.7 millivolt into 1 millivolt is equal to 10 to the power of minus 3. That comes 4.7 microvolt of noise at output of this differential amplifier. Common mode rejection ratio is also depends on common mode input signals frequency. So as the input frequency increases, common mode rejection ratio will reduce. Common mode rejection ratio is generally specified at 60 Hz frequency, which is called line frequency. If it is high frequency noise, then the operational amplifier will not be able to suppress the noise as it was able to suppress the 60 Hz noise only. Suppose input signal frequency is lesser than the noise frequency or 60 Hz, then we get input signal by using a low pass filter in input. So all these are the some design aspects which we should take care of while designing the circuits. That's all about common mode rejection ratio. So if you have any doubts or suggestions, please mention them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, please click the like button and share this video. Please subscribe my channel and turn on notifications for more such videos. Follow me on my next video, Power Supply Rejection Ratio of Operational Amplifier. Have a nice day.